Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Vanzik. Today we're going to take a look at the differences between design mode and presentation mode. So in design mode you're going to see a red snowflake up here at the top. This is where I can tell if I'm in design mode or presentation mode. I can also see it under edit where it says design mode. So this is where I can flip back and forth. Right now I'm in presentation mode because I have a blue snowflake. In presentation mode, sounds and actions are operable, locked objects cannot move, text will return if not contained, and hidden objects are invisible. When I go into design mode, I'm going to have the red snowflake, and my sounds and actions are going to be surrounded with a red outline, but they're going to be inoperable. This way I can move them around the page. Locked objects can move in design mode. Text will not return if contained, and hidden objects are visible. So right now I have an action set up right here, and I can see that it's operable. It has the blue circle with a white arrow in it. And this action right now just puts a white uh, box on the screen that covers up the information from presentation mode. If I go into design mode, I can now see that this box is right here. And this object right here has a red outline around it. When I click on it, nothing happens. It's not an operable action yet. But I can move different things around the page. And this background, which was locked in presentation mode, is now movable. It's now editable. So let's see what a, what a page looks like in design mode versus presentation mode. So in presentation mode, when I click on the frog, he's locked. It won't move. In fact, when I click on it, it says, you will need to enter design mode to select locked objects. When I go into design mode, I can now move the frog around. In design mode, I'm going to make this sound hidden. So now when I go back into presentation mode, I can't see that little image icon right here, but I can still play the sound. If I go back into design mode, it pops up again. It's not invisible, and it has a red line around it, which means it's an action. In presentation mode, my fly is set up for drag a copy. So when I click on it, it keeps making more flies. My frog will be happy. But if I want to move this original fly, every time I click on it, it's just going to make another fly. So if I want to move the original fly, I can go back to design mode and click on the fly to move him around the page. To get rid of drag a copy, I could click on this menu and uncheck drag a copy. So if you're ever having a problem where your containers don't work, your actions don't work, or you can't move things around in the page, check if you're in design mode or presentation mode. I hope you've enjoyed today's active tip. Check out our resources at our website and take a look at our professional development courses and workshops.